Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Dan. We're two guys. One beer. Chris, yet again, Toronto FC player in the house. We, we are so lucky to have guests like Mr. Liam Fraser. Welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm excited to uh, get some talk and have a beer. Well, we're always excited to have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like to do is drink beer. So. Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, what do we have in front of you there, Chris? We have Stonewall Light by uh, Cool Beer. Cool beer. They they make uh, three different beers. They do. Uh, cool. Cool. Buzz. Nice. For the hemp lovers <laughs> in the beer industry, which I don't think I've ever tried. And then this is a newer one, Stonewall Light. It's a light beer, 4%, oh, and it for, does have a splash. A he's 21. <laughs> All right. He <laughs> needs a real beer, but I we, figured he's in training. One of those. <laughs> I'm not going to be the guy that the coach phones up and says, so, you got him drunk? Got no, it. it's not me. <laughs> in that light beer. Exactly. Wait, cheers, gents. <laughs> cheers. Oh, you're right. It has that smell. It's nice. Light. Right. Ooh. You know what? It would have a nice flavor if, if, if you did add the lime. I, I got no problem I think with it's the flavor. In there. It's nice and clean, but it, it... I think it's in there. I think the lime would bring out those... It's nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a little. I think on their website they say perfect barbecue beer. Or, or a game day beer, like you always like to say. Well, there's... There you go. It's a, it depends how... Depends <laughs> on where you are, right? right? <laughs> yeah. It's an easy drinking beer, that's for sure. So how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just, uh... Came here straight from training, about to watch yeah. the wraps. It's a big yes. day. It's yeah, a big, day. big day. So there's going to be some delayed, obviously. So we're either uh, um, pre-drinking before the championship is won, mm -hmm. or we're waiting for an another anxious day. couple <laughs> exactly. more days yeah. for the championship to be won. Because that's what's happening. We're, being won. we're hoping when this comes out that we have the ship. We're not waiting for the ship. <laughs> for sure. See, I want, I want, like, I've got my jersey here. I want one of these. I know they don't do it in basketball, but I want one of these. I want, like, I want right the there. thought of having one of these. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I Throw it in. It should be there. The more for those for Toronto, the better. Yeah, for sure. So, trading today, uh, you, you've got a game coming up uh, before this show, because yeah. I promised to have it out. You're kind of on a, uh, uh, what, it, what, it's the Gold Cup break right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for our soccer fix, it's uh, Women's <coughs> World Cup, and we're uh, one and zero. We are, and uh, the Gold Cup starts right away on Saturday. And I've got some not huge expectations, but just on paper, mm -hmm. Canada hasn't looked so damn good. No, we uh, going into a Gold Cup. We're young. Yep. Uh, just speaking to all the lads at last camp, everyone's really motivated to. Uh, to win, and even even going to Vancouver on this last trip, we uh, I sat down with Neil Henry, I sat down with uh, Max a bit, and, and Russ and and Derek, and we all just said like, hey, this is a massive opportunity to put Canada on that next level in, in the whole soccer scene. And if you guys are able to make that statement, I think it would be uh, be a huge, huge, huge step. So everyone's motivated, everyone's ready to go, and I know all the lads are really uh, are really looking forward to representing Canada the best way they can. Now. Saying that, I think you took one for the team, for us Toronto FC fans. You, I you, think you did. I you you were did. offered a ticket to the Gold Cup. Yeah. And uh, you stayed behind to uh, help take care of Toronto FC. It, explain how that kind of worked out. And I, I think it's cool, and I think it's the best, best thing ever for Toronto FC fans. As a TFC fan. This yeah. next month. <laughs> so... Um, just speaking with John and, and 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 really laying out my options with with the national team and with TFC, um, we decided it would be the best interest of me and, and of the club if uh, if I were to stay back here and, and, and kind of help out Toronto. And 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 with that said, I think it was the best des decision for me, knowing that Mike could be away with the U.S. Um, so to come here and, and get minutes, consistent minutes that I haven't had, and then. In my in my first year here, um, it, it was really important for me and to kind of better my club situation. So uh, nice. speaking speaking with the with the gaffer and with John, um, we decided that I'd stay back and, and, and play these games and and let uh, uh, some other players join with the national team. Well, we appreciate it, and and Thank knowing, you. I mean, uh, the, the the few games already uh, since this has all happened, you you you've fared extremely well on the pitch. 
you know, nobody wants the, and you're, you're so level headed. So mm -hmm. I'm not trying to, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> boost the ego and, and grow the head, but, uh, you know, you're looking good. So obviously what's been happening for you coming to this point mm -hmm. where, where now you're getting uh, some minutes and stuff and, and starting, mm -hmm. you've definitely learned from, uh, Mr. Bradley, yeah, haven't yeah. you? Absolutely. Yes, because it and it shows. I mean, you're already talented, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that that's got to be that's got to be so cool learning from someone of that caliber. For sure, um, and I never take it for granted. Um, I love picking his brain, and I think he uh, he likes having someone want to learn from him. I think he is an absolute soccer soccer fanatic, and anytime he has opportunity to talk about it or or teach someone, he he fully take advantage. He fully takes advantage of it. Um, but like you said, it's, it's, it's an unbelievable opportunity to have someone like him um, kind of take me under his wing in that in that really uh, holding midfield position Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and learn from him. Uh, with that being said, I think it's also uh, credit to other midfielders like uh, like Jay, like Oso. Oso, uh, it was his birthday a couple of days ago, but and, and I messaged him just saying, uh, thank you for everything you've done with me on the field and off the field. I think you, you've been a massive, massive help in my career. So we yes. have that relationship. But going back to Mike, I think he... Uh, He's been he's been great and kind of uh, giving me a pathway in, in how to learn that position the best way I can. Tell us about like some of the off field stuff that no one ever gets to hear now. Obviously, without getting people in trouble. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's uh, I spent a lot a lot of my time with with Ashton and with Jonathan, and I think uh, I, I was saying it uh, previously. I think at those times when you don't have the badge on you. And you, and you don't think people are watching, you don't think you're, you're still in that spotlight and in that limelight is, is times when you have to be really careful. Um, and I think both of them, Jonathan and Ashton, uh, have been uh, massive in me kind of understanding how to carry myself as, uh, as more than a footballer. Um, whether that be going out and just uh, showing respect to everyone or, or just including everyone, I think it's those small things that uh, fans and just just other people really recognize and it, it, it can uh, work and travel fast I think is, is what they've yes. told me and, and what I've learned from them the most so whether it be good news or bad news um, hopefully all good news uh, <laughs> is uh, is uh, is good so I think they've been really really helpful in that. well we see big things for you I appreciate that Thank and you. Uh, I, I joked with you but I'm all in <laughs> seriousness when I say this it's like Chris knows what I'm gonna say <laughs> already know where it's coming <laughs> uh, we joke about it but now that you've been on the show mm -hmm. your star has just risen <laughs> oh, so, all right yeah. so uh those w's are going to come yes yeah. uh with you uh as the starter in the next few games not guaranteed nothing's guaranteed yeah. but yeah. that's that's what we're all expecting uh with the gold cup going there's going to be some w's coming in our way we and need them. uh we need them for sure you're a defensive midfielder on paper mm -hmm. and you're gonna Get your first goal. You're welcome. It's not his hard work. It's that he came on this, two guys one year. It's this magical beer we're giving him. Exactly. <clears throat> Cheers and thank you very much, Liam. Thank you, guys.